Hey guys, and welcome to The Hatchet Project. Today's episode is going to be all about weather expectations. So today I am on Merritt Island on the east coast of Florida. I'm about 15 miles from Kennedy Space Center. You might be thinking to yourself, why am I in Florida if I'm doing a project about Alaska? Well, I'm actually not going to be heading back to Alaska until about beginning of May, so just a couple weeks before I take part in my adventure. So there's going to be a couple things to keep in mind because of that. Um, there are a couple things that Florida has in common with Alaska though. Like right now it's heavily uh, into mosquito season, which I will be taking part of when I go back home. Um, I'm getting eaten alive right now. So the other thing that Florida has in common with Alaska is the rain, but we'll get to that in a second. So it's a pretty clear morning here in uh, Florida, uh, and it's probably about 68 degrees, which is a little higher than what I will be experiencing this summer. Um, when I head back to Alaska, it's gonna be probably low 50s at the highest, um, and I will be leaving mid 70s to low 80s. Something else I'll have to look forward to during this experiment is rain. I will be located in the Tongass National Forest, which is the US's largest national forest, and it is also a temperate rainforest. So that means it rains a lot. When people think Alaska, they don't normally think rain, but where I come from, it rains all the time. About an average of four inches per month uh, during the summer, which is the low season. Um, it can rain up to 160 inches a year uh, in some areas. The thing to keep in mind though is that the cool temperatures mixed with uh, cold rain can make for some deadly circumstances uh, such as getting hypothermia, uh, which can be hard to deal with when you are by yourself. But that is where good uh, clothing choices and shelter choices come into play, but we'll talk about that another time. Um, beyond temperature and rain, the other thing that I'm gonna have to consider is the hours of sunlight. So during the summer, I'm gonna have about 17 and a half hours of sun, uh, leaving about seven and a half hours or six and a half hours of nighttime. So that will cut down on like coolness because of lack of sun but it's still going to be a little chilly as far as my body is concerned because I've been so used to the warm weather here in Florida. Thanks for tuning in and watching me get eaten alive by mosquitoes. Please subscribe and like this video as well as share it with your friends and family. And I'm Bethany Lawrence. This is The Hatchet Project.